Hi everyone, this is Connie Strassheim. I'm a medical researcher and writer and the author of eight books on holistic wellness. You can learn more about my work at my website, which is ConnieStrassheim.com. I want to talk to you today about a topic that I'm really passionate about, and that is environmental toxicity. And you know, did you know that environmental toxins are one of the foremost causes of most chronic and degenerative diseases today? Things like cancer, chronic fatigue syndrome, autism, fibromyalgia, and um, I talk about a lot of these toxins in my newly released book with Dr. William Lee Cowden called Create a Toxin-Free Body and Home starting today. And one of the toxins that we describe in this book is um, electromagnetic pollution. And this is a very underappreciated source of toxicity in our environment. It's an invisible source of toxicity. You don't realize that it's affecting you until many years later, but it is, in my opinion, one of the most insidious and dangerous types of toxins to which we are all exposed. And electromagnetic pollution comes from sources like cell phones, Wi-Fi technology, uh, the wiring in your home, power lines, microwave towers, and every year we are being exposed to exponential amounts of electromagnetic energy. And um, people, we have an electromagnetic field in our body. Our bodies are foremost electrical before they are biochemical, and the electromagnetic pollution in the environment affects our electromagnetic field and what happens is, is it causes cells to divide more rapidly, it causes DNA mutations, it causes damage to our cells, it causes problems in our metabolism and in the communication, the inter and intracellular communication of our cells and it results in things like cancer, chronic fatigue, um, a lot of different illnesses but especially cancer and every month I interview cancer doctors for a podcast that I do for the Alternative Cancer Research Institute and every single month, these doctors tell me that electromagnetic pollution is one of the foremost causes of cancer today, and especially um, things like brain cancer, because which result from excessive cell phone use. And these doctors will tell me that, you know, 30 years ago, you never saw young people with cancer, but today it's becoming very, very common, and environmental toxins are one of the reason. And so, anyway, in this book that I authored with Dr. Cowden, we describe electromagnetic pollution and some of the things that you can do to protect yourself, and I just want to talk about a few of those things here. And the, so the first thing you want to do is to um, live as far as you can away from microwave towers, away, away from power lines, and there's a website called an antennasearch.com where where you can look up and see how many towers are within a four mile radius of where you live. In more rural areas you might find like four to six towers. Um, in urban areas it can be anywhere from 25 to 50 and that's a really high number. Uh, the other thing that you want to do is to unplug all of your appliances in your bedroom at night, turn off the circuit breakers if possible, um, and make sure that you are not living close to a power line or that and make sure that you don't have electrical wiring running um, close to your bedroom at night. And um, the other thing is to, we highly recommend in this book, minimizing the use of your cell phone. Um, don't use cordless phones as they are just as bad in terms of the radiation as cell phones. It's best to use a landline whenever possible. And we know that's inconvenient, but it's, it's just super, super important. And uh, one of the other things you can do is wear a, um, a device that protects your body against electromagnetic fields. And there are a lot of them out there that really don't work that well and which can make you worse. And so um, I've done a lot of research and I have found one that really, for me, has provided some benefit. And it's by a company called Safe Connect. And in fact, this is one of their brochures. And by the way, I don't sell anything from Safe Connect. Um, but they have EMF solutions that uh, basically what they are is necklaces that pr that protect your body, that create, have a homeopathic like effect on your body. So they, tr they transform the energy of the electromagnetic magnetic fields in your environment so that they don't affect you in the safe way, in the same way. And um, I actually have one of their little gadgets and I don't, um, I wear it on my watch and here I'm just going to show you. If you look on the other side of my watch, I have this little sticker and this normally goes on your cell phone or on your computer, but you can also wear it somewhere on your body, and I like it because it's not obvious, but I've noticed um, an improvement in my energy since I started using it, and so those are some things you can do, and there are other things we talk about in, um, in this book, things like um, sleeping under a Faraday cage, um, there are products you can purchase that will protect 
your entire home from the effects of electromagnetic pollution, um, what you can do to get a smart meter removed off your house, just, just a number of different things. And I don't know about you, but when I started reducing electromagnetic pollution in my environment, when I started using EMF protective devices, I started to feel better, I started to sleep better, I started to have more energy, my thoughts were clearer, and so those are just some of the benefits you can experience by reducing the impact of electromagnetic pollution in your environment. So anyway, you can learn more about this book and electromagnetic pollution at my website, which is ConnieStrassheim.com, and the book is also available at the Academy for Comprehensive Integrative Medicine website, which is ACIMConnect.com. Thanks.